Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Solomon Jagwe. Uh, today I'm back with another tutorial and I shared this uh, STO image on my Facebook page. But uh, it's the, this tutorial is about a new plugin uh, called Face Module that uh, a friend of mine shared with me. So what it, it does is that it enables you to take facial animation uh, into DAS Studio you're able to get the result what you see on the screen right right so this what you see on the screen was rendered entirely in does studio yes <laughs> so uh, on average it took me about uh, uh, maybe like 25 seconds per frame to uh, 2080 ti's so as you can see i think uh, it's a good example that of what you can actually get with this uh, plugin i highly highly recommend it and the way you get this pro uh, plugin you go to first you need this uh, face cap motion capture app uh, for ios this is the part that records the video uh, the facial motion capture or performance in onto your iphone 10 uh, or higher and then saves it as an fpx file uh, which you then use this plugin called face mode to bring into DAS studio and for the longest time DAS studio just there was a time when you couldn't do proper or convincing facial animation inside of a DAS studio so i think face module is gonna reach that gap of quality and also ease of uh, animating your face now in order again for those who are wanting to get it, please visit uh, lelo3d.com uh, shop. Uh, that's where I was able to find it. So it comes in a, a couple, like several flavors for different Genesis characters. So you could do Genesis 3 uh, bundle up to uh, Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 bundle, or just uh, one character. And they also have a plugin called Mixer Module. I will be doing a tutorial for that. But for the purposes of this tutorial, this is what I wanted to highlight. <laughs> the, the rendering, I mean, the render looks awesome. And that's because it's rendered with iRay, and the skin texture looks realistic because of the high uh, quality of the texture in the studio. But the fun part, of, the fun part, I think, is the facial animation because I said it wasn't easy for a long time to show, like, to create a convincing facial animation in the studio. So what you do. After you download the app, uh, the program, you need, so the files will look like this. So you get a face module G3 to G7 button. File will look like that, uh, unzip it. And the contents in here, you copy these files into your my library. So it's a new document, does 3D slash studio. In my library and then copy and paste them here so when you if you do it correctly it will show up in their studio under my library or and depending on uh, which uh, the character that you got the, app, uh, the plugin for so as you can see i have face module so this first icon is for you to apply the animation onto the character i'm using a genesis 8 male character right here and this icon removes the animation from if you need some help, I get like a, a manual on how to use the app, uh, the plugin, sorry, you can. So the way it works, um, first you import the FPX file from your face cap capture. It's going to come in as a underscore scale file. Select it and then hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on the, the uh, character. In this case, it's a Genesis 8 male. And Make sure they're both selected and then double click on this face module back animation. So I'm going to do it right now. Click and uh, pay attention to this uh, bar right here, the progress bar. And depending on the speed of your machine, it might take a little bit, like a few minutes, or it might take a little bit longer. So I'm going to, I'm not going to pause this video so that you get a sense of how long it takes. Uh, so right now it's baking the animation to the character it's at about five percent uh, let's see how long it takes so right now uh, it's been about maybe 20 
seconds. But, well, while it's baking, um, bring the video back so you can see the <laughs> of the render. And at the bottom, you can still see the progress going. So again, that depends on your machine. So I have uh, another machine that I use to render this specific video. And I try to render this uh, animation on this machine that I'm recording the tutorial from. And it has an RTX uh, 2070 and, an, uh, and a GTX 1070. Uh, it, it was taking a long time. The frames were averaging about 20 minutes to 30 minutes per frame. It took almost an entire day or more <laughs> to do just six seconds. Right, so this one uh, is about what five seconds of the total animation. So you can imagine if the if you have a faster machine, it's definitely going to be a uh, benefit uh, because you'll be able to render much faster. So the machine that I use to render this uh, video, it has two G uh, RTX cards, and two twenty eight two twenty eighty Ti's. That's why I was able to average about uh, twenty five seconds per frame. So let's go back. Progress here. Um, in, I, mean, I did a number of tests uh, for the baking of the animation, and sometimes it uh, go much quicker. Again, depending on the length of the animation, the facial animation that you captured with your iPhone 10, it's gonna take it. That it will depend on that the length of that uh, session that you recorded. So again so it, it has finally completed uh it, it said about uh maybe like uh like four minutes maybe so there's uh you get a you're gonna get a, a success a lot it says animation back to keyframe successfully the bottom says awesome which is a good thing click on that okay so now if i were i if i drag on the timeline you can see the animation on the face of the character yeah. So one thing that I encourage you to do is make sure uh, that you select the clothes of your, the, your character and turn off the mesh smooth because it's going to try to do that while it's also applying the character, which is going to take a much longer time. So make sure you lower the resolution of your character in the clothing that in, uh, in memory, in terms of memory, you can, you, in a way you're freeing up the memory so that this character and handle the facial animation. If you don't, it's not going to play back. You'll be able to see the results of the character. So again, that's how you, the animation goes and how you're able to successfully apply it. And again, you need to visit uh, halo3d.com uh, to get the, uh, the plugin and also download on your iPhone 10 face cap motion capture app, app plugin uh, sorry app plugin the, uh, on the uh, on your iphone 10 the app and then on your computer comp plugin does studio so um does studio I mean it's, it's a free program that you can download from does 3d.com uh, it's almost i mean it's can't really model anything in it it's mostly for character animation and presentation so it's not like Blender that can do pretty much what Maya or Studio can do. Uh, DAS Studio is mainly for people who are trying to get into 3D animation. So that's why I recommend it if you're trying to, if you get interested in 3D, you just want to get started and you want to jump into facial animation and so full body animation, then this plugin will get you closer to that goal. So please give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave in a comment in the section. Uh, in the, leave a comment in the comment section below on my video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, spare a minute to subscribe to my channel, and uh, check out my other videos. Kindly share with your friends. Uh, again, what you see here is I rendered this entirely in DAS Studio, and the facial animation was created using Face Module. That's how cool. Uh, Dell Studio has come and with the support of people who are developing plugins for it, getting closer and closer to really, really nice, uh, you know, 
animations and uh, hopefully for hopefully sometime when everyone has like a, a fast machine we'll be able to render this maybe like 10 seconds five seconds and i think that will break get <laughs> to us creating short films as a studio but i think this is very promising give it a try and uh see you next time.